We already know that women have a much smaller presence in films than men. But a new tool called GDIQ measures this gender inequality on a large scale, especially for those who aren't yet aware of it. This software is able to identify a character's gender and how long they speak and appear on screen. It's made by machine learning engineers from Google and the University of Southern California. One example of a GDIQ calculation is that women got 27% of speaking time in 2015's Oscar-winning films. That's no surprise if you take a look at the winner of Best Picture from that year, Bird Man. What do you do? Oh, She's my sister. Works for me. And does she talk uh, and speak? GDIQ studied the 100 highest grossing domestic live action US films from 2014 to 2016. It found that the only genre in which women appear more than men is horror. That being said, women speak less than men even in that genre. So women are seen and not heard, you could say. Also, does GDIQ detect this terrifying body in the shadows as a woman? Anyway, another interesting future application of the GDIQ tool could be the Bechdel test. The Bechdel test identifies films and works of fiction in which two women, who are both named, talk to each other about something other than a man. Just one time. This looks familiar. I was gonna give- It's estimated that less than 60% of films pass the Bechdel test. Using GDIQ for this would be tough, because currently it doesn't identify the content of speech. I hung out with Ted for like a little bit. But it can at least point to scenes in which two women are talking to each other. The GDIQ tool uses fairly simple speech and object recognition, which isn't new. But the important distinction is the software's intentions. The GDIQ is being used by the Gina Davis Institute on Gender in Media, which works to change bias in the media and film industry. If you hadn't guessed, the GD stands for Gina Davis. According to Davis, the founder and an Oscar-winning actress. The ratio of male to female characters in film has been exactly the same since 1946. That ratio she's talking about is three to one. But hey, at least it's better than the ratio for the Oval Office, right? So yeah, these kinds of tools are helpful for calling attention to the problem, but they alone won't put women on the screen or in the credits. Your ass is great.